He is known for his significant contributions to the field of mathematics as a private scholar and member of the Berlin Academy. He is recognized for his influential work in algebraic number theory and the theory of equations. He is Leopold Kronecker. Leopold Kronecker, a renowned mathematician, was born into a wealthy Jewish family in Prussia in 1823. From a young age, Kronecker displayed a keen interest in various subjects, including science, history, and philosophy. While studying at the University of Berlin, his passion for mathematics began to blossom under the guidance of his teacher, Ernst Kummer. In 1845, Kronecker defended his dissertation in algebraic number theory, marking the beginning of his mathematical pursuits. However, instead of pursuing an academic career, Kronecker returned to his hometown to manage a family estate. Despite his business responsibilities, he continued to study mathematics as a hobby and corresponded with Kummer. In 1855, he was financially secure enough to return to Berlin and fully devote himself to mathematics. Kronecker's research and publications gained recognition, leading to his election as a member of the Berlin Academy in 1861. Throughout his career, Kronecker held no official university position but had the privilege of teaching at the University of Berlin as a member of the Academy. He formed close friendships with mathematicians such as Karl Weierstrass and Kummer. However, Kronecker's philosophical views on mathematics created tensions and strained his relationship with Weierstrass. This conflict nearly pushed Weierstrass to leave the university in 1888. Despite these challenges, Kronecker's contributions to mathematics were significant, and in 1883 he was invited to succeed Kummer at the University of Berlin. Kronecker's life came to an end in 1891, a few months after the passing of his wife. In his final year, he underwent a religious conversion to Christianity. Today, he is remembered as a brilliant mathematician who left a lasting impact on the field, particularly through his philosophical perspectives and his strained relationship with Weierstrass. Leopold Kronecker, a renowned mathematician of the 19th century, dedicated a significant portion of his research to number theory in algebra. Among his notable contributions was the formulation of the Kronecker-Weber theorem in 1853, which laid the foundation for the study of equations and Galois theory. While he did not provide a definitive proof, his theorem became a fundamental concept in the field. One of Kronecker's interests was in elliptic functions, and he conjectured what he called his liebster jugendtraum or dearest dream of his youth. This conjecture, which proposed a generalization of elliptic functions, was later revisited and modified by David Hilbert as his twelfth problem. Kronecker's dream showcased his visionary thinking and the impact of his ideas on future mathematicians. In 1850, Kronecker made a significant breakthrough by solving the quintic equation, a fifth-degree polynomial, using group theory. This achievement showcased his profound understanding of algebraic number theory and his ability to apply abstract concepts to real-world problems. His solution paved the way for further advancements in the field. Kronecker's contributions extended beyond number theory and algebra. He also made significant contributions to the concept of continuity, challenging the ideas put forth by his colleague Karl Weierstrass. Kronecker's rejection of Weierstrass's formulation of a continuous, nowhere differentiable function demonstrated his unique perspective and willingness to question established theories. Throughout his career, Kronecker's work inspired and influenced many mathematicians. Today, his name is associated with various mathematical concepts, including the Kronecker limit formula, Kronecker delta, Kronecker symbol, and Kronecker product. These concepts continue to be essential tools in modern mathematics, highlighting the enduring impact of Kronecker's research. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.